Today's Gospel, Tuesday, August 15, is taken from St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant clipped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his handmaid's loneliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his descendants forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Jen Kasumbal. Yes! My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. Verse 47 to 48 My husband and I entered the Catholic Charismatic Renewal in 1997. We have continuously served the Lord until today, and now with an even bigger mission field. Hindi ba kayo napapagod mag-serve? People would ask us, especially when they see us loaded with both community and personal work. And our usual reply, Our service is our worship and our thanksgiving to the Lord. Kulang pa ang lahat ng ito for the many blessings He continuously gives us every day. The harvest is plentiful, but laborers are few. Matthew chapter 9, verse 37 Any follower of Jesus is called to be a laborer in God's harvest field. There are many people out there to be cared for and brought to God, but few people are willing to go out and do the work. Today, we celebrate the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It was Mary's simple yes which made the incarnation of our Messiah possible. It was her simple yes that paved the way to the salvation of humanity. It was her obedience that made her blessed among all and queen of heaven and earth. Today, we are also called to respond to God's call to the laborers in the field. Like Mary, God is calling us to serve and help build His kingdom. All we have to do is to obey and say yes. Let us pray. Mother Mary, teach us to be obedient like you. Pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.